Hey guys, how are you today? Welcome to Rufus and Doofus. My name is Tico and I'll be your host today. Hey guys, new project. Okay, uh, I did a video in the past where on the cargo doors I had to pop up T-handles and I had a lot of them that wouldn't lock and I fixed those. I also had a video there of replacing some of the gas uh, springs which hold the door up and um, that worked out well except for one thing. There's uh, a little ball latch here that is where the gas cylinder goes on to the um, the ball and then holds the door up. There's also one of these welded to the frame on the coach. The one welded to the frame on the coach isn't going anywhere, but guess what? In my situation, uh, when I put the new gas spring on there, there's so much pressure on this little ball and on this whole uh, mounting mechanism which mounts onto the door itself and I believe the door is made out of some sort of a composite board or plywood or whatever but in my case what happened is that the stress that was on here I didn't realize that the screws in these holes had not only had they rusted to the point where they were just uh, unable to hold anything but the material that the screws screwed into was not really that solid. So after a couple of nights of laying awake trying to think of how I was going to fix this problem, I came up with an idea. I don't know if it's going to work, but I think it will. What I did is I went over to Home Depot and in their electrical uh, supply area they have these metal plates that are designed to um, be covers for junction boxes and they have them in different sizes. Uh, I bought the four by four inch version and it's fairly thick. I'd say it's probably a, oh, I don't know, maybe a sixteenth of an inch, inch thick, but very, very sturdy material. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna to go to the coach door where these mount and I am going to put this up against there and I'm gonna trace out where this is going to fit on there just like that so that it fits in the same place okay and I'm gonna drill some holes in this for the whoop, for the bracket that wants to run away from, from me so that they will mount onto this plate and I'm also gonna drill probably three to four holes on this plate to screw into the door so what's that gonna do for me well rather than having only those three screws um, which really don't have a lot of material to bite in, what they're going to do is they're going to grab onto this plate and the material behind it, okay? And this plate is going to be anchored very solidly by other screws, and I'm going to glue it to the door. I know it doesn't sound like uh, it's hard to explain, but when we go out there, we're going to do one. Uh, we're going to at least measure it and get it ready and then take it home and drill them out and mount them on the doors. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this plate is going to supply a lot of rigidity and it's going to distribute the forces generated by the spring on this ball across this plate. So rather than having this minute area take all the stress right here, all right, we're going to have this whole plate take the stress. Nice thing about the plate is, I was thinking about doing this with wood, but I'd need a big block of wood, and then that would interfere with the door moving up and down. This isn't going to interfere with anything. Not a thing. It's just going to lay flat with this little baby on there, and when that door goes up and the pressure's on this spring, it's just going to distribute those forces to this whole area. Four times four, 16 square inches compared to probably a half inch by three inch, which you do the math, not many square inches at all. And um, I think this is going to work really, really well. So enough of me yapping about it. Let's get out there and trace one and, and see how it's going to look. Okay? Here we go. Put your coveralls on. Okay, guys. I'm not going to be able to get my handsome face in the picture here. But let me show you what, what, what we've got. This is where the old... I have to hold up the door at the same time. But this is the way these were mounted right here. Okay, and you can see that it just tore it right off the door. The pressure from that spring, which comes from down here, just tore these right off. So here's the plan. Take one of these, 
and we're going to mount it right up against that that door like that we could probably even go right there okay and we're going to screw and glue this plate in there and then we're going to drill holes so that this can stay up by itself and this part if i can hold everything up will mount on here right there okay so you can see that that's going to take a lot of stress off of this little area where there's really no material left there anyway so uh that's the plan now let me get something to hold this door up uh so that i can at least get somewhat of an accurate measurement here and uh we'll get going well i couldn't find anything that was really going to hold this door up so i'm gonna try and do this let me get everything i need my pen and my doohickey and this baby be nice if I had another set of hands and I think we're in a good position for this I think that's the best position right there and what I've got to do is mark these areas get one of them work okay that should give me That should give me my location. I can't talk with the thing in my mouth. We have to, we know this has to go on the inside. Okay, and what I did is I marked my locations where my screws lined up, make sure I got room for everything. And then what I'm gonna do I'm going to bring that in about a quarter inch and center it. Just like that. Got room for a screw down here, room for a screw there. Four screws around the perimeter. And then I'm going to mark this piece of metal and take it home and drill it. And before I do all of them, make sure that it's going to fit and work. So I'm going to put a drill this piece, this piece, and right here. We're going to have three screws there, okay? It's going to be a lot stronger. This is going to take a lot of pressure. This plate will take a lot of pressure, and it's going to be held in with screws and glue. Yes, glue. Imagine that gonna work I think it's gonna work I don't think this will ever pop off of there again so that's it for now I'm gonna go home and drill these puppies try one so I don't ruin them all by the way these were 50 cents a piece not a big investment the screws cost more than the uh, the plates did and uh, this is a brand new one of these because some of them were missing completely so I had to order some uh, and that's it for now all right guys don't go away later all right, here we are. We're going to drill these out. These holes that marks that I made.
And there you have it. And this puppy should fit right on there. Just like that. One, two, three screws. This will mount on a thing like that. And we'll we'll glue this to the door. And we'll also glue this on here for a little added strength. And that should do it. So now we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven grip points. And I don't think that's gonna go anywhere. Actually, it's probably overkill, but better overkill than underkill. So that's all there is to that. Now we just gotta go back and line it up on the uh, motorhome. I've already transferred, I've already transferred the marks onto these from there. So these are ready to drill, but I don't want to drill them yet until I make absolutely positive that this is going to work with the configuration that I have. So uh, that's about it for right now. We're going to go back over to the motor home. We're going to drill some pilot holes for this, and we should be ready to go. See you there. Okay, guys, uh, got my plate all drilled out, as you saw, and now it's time to try and do this uh, installation and see how it works out for us. I've got the door propped up with a piece of wood. I hope it doesn't come crashing down. If it does and it knocks me out, uh, call somebody. All right. So I think the first thing we're going to do is clean that area with some alcohol. I just happen to have some 70% isopropyl. It's just rubbing alcohol from the drugstore. I want to try and get some of that crud that might be on there off so we get some good adhesion when we go to glue it on. And it's uh, kind of like a bumpy finish on there, so I think we don't have to rough it up or anything like that. But I just want to make sure that there's nothing there to keep the glue from adhering. As you can see, there was a little crud there. And eventually we'll clean the whole door once we can get it to stay up. And won't fall on our head. The springs are on their way. I have some more gas springs coming and they should be here today. But for right now, we're just going to install this um, little, uh, I don't know, ball hinge, whatever you want to call it. But that's pretty clean as you can see. And then I've got um, a clamp here that I'm just going to clamp it to the door. Uh, once I spread some glue on this, I just want to show you the orientation is going to be like this. All right, so I can get as much bite as I can out of those four areas. And then the, the hinge will go right here. So we're going to put some glue on that. And what I did was I got a hold of some Gorilla Glue. This stuff is pretty good. I mean, uh, you know, it's, it's going to serve our purpose. But uh, I've heard a lot of people have really good luck with it. So I'm going to spread that, a good glob of it here, especially in the center. I think that'll suffice for now. And <clears throat> we'll get that in position, and then we'll temporarily clamp it. There we go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a clamp on here just to hold it for a bit if I can find it oop there it is ah, these things are handy I'll tell you and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just drill a little bit of a pilot hole in these four positions to get my screw started that I'm going to put in and hopefully that won't go anywhere so then the the screws will actually hold that that plate there and allow the glue to dry and we should get some real good support in that area so let me be right back let me get my handy dandy drill and just drill some pilot holes all right so far so good here put that where i don't lose it and i'm gonna drill a pilot hole just to get the screw started. I don't want to drill too deep because 
we want our screw to bite. Of course, look at that, huh? Came right out of the drill. Oh boy. Never fails. Something, something's got to go wrong, right? Hmm. Feels like there's more material here than there is there. So these are probably going to be what really hold this puppy, puppy in. But then we've got these three screws and the glue. So I think we're going to be fine. Okay, so let's get our screws. And we'll change this out. slowly put them in. Slow this thing down a little bit. Well that kind of moved from where we want it. Wanted it. Excess glue there. Let's wipe that off before it dries. There we go. straight as I would have liked that one but not bad so that'll work and now we're just gonna put the uh, take the clamp off and drive our screws into this area here with our little ball hinge and I don't think that's gonna go anywhere so don't go away got to get myself a couple of screws and a hinge okay so uh, Here's our setup that we're going to do, all right? I had thought about riveting this piece on here and using this as uh, just a support with the screws, but I don't know. I think I kind of like the fact that I'm going to glue this or glue and screw it on there. So maybe the riveting isn't such a hot idea. I think this is going to work better, but that's what it's going to look like when it's done. And you can see that this plate of steel is going to be a lot stronger than that material there. So let's put uh, some good healthy glue on here. Just every little bit helps. 
because I don't plan on taking that off again, at least not in my lifetime. So I smeared some glue on here. If you can see, and we're going to line that up in the correct orientation. That should work. And then we're going to put our screws in. bad working so far just got two more screws to put in and we're still oozing glue here but that's a good sign it means there's pressure on it One more screw, and we should be good to go. Glued and screwed. Can't beat it. That's a wrong bit or what, but okay. Let me tell you, that's on there solid. That is not going anywhere. I like it. Glued on here, glue here. I mean, the only other thing I might want to do is put a screw here, but I don't think it's necessary. <coughs> you know, just. Take some of that stuff that's oozing out of there. And there you have it. Now, as soon as those gas uh, springs come in, we'll just take and uh, hook it right up to here and there, and we're good to go. These are never going to break down here. Those ones on the bottom there are welded, so they shouldn't break. I should say never. Yeah, whenever I say never, something bad happens. But that's in there. That ain't going anywhere. All right. So, guys, uh, if you're having problems with keeping this thing on here because it's pulling out, this might be a good fix for you. I don't know if all the doors are made the same. Um, seems as though the material is more around the edges than here. It might be kind of hollow in the center. So these screws are holding, though, because this material has some rigidity to it, plus the glue, plus these screws which are definitely biting into something. And these, which are definitely biting into something, plus the fact that it's glued on the plate, I think it's going to last a lot longer than the original. So, well, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and uh, don't forget to subscribe. All righty. We'll see you soon, guys. If I don't talk to you before the holidays, have a Merry Christmas.